Hello class, in today's recorded lecture, we are going to discuss about the basic rules of articles. Hello students, assalamu alaikum. I'm your English teacher, Kansa Sareen. Our today topic is articles. Articles. Articles are divided into two types. Number one is indefinite and the second one is definite. In indefinite, we talk about the journal things. And in definite, we talk about the specific things. In journal things, we use a and an. And in specific things, we use the. A, an, and the are the articles. A and an are the indefinite articles. Indefinite means not a specific. Usually, we use a and an to talk about non-specific nouns. And the is the definite article. Usually, we use the to talk about specific nouns. Articles only modify nouns. They do not modify other words like adjective, adverbs, and so on. I have a car. Here, we have a noun, car, and a is a article, modifies a noun. I have a nice car. Here, we added an adjective, nice, but it makes no changing to noun. Here, article is still modifying a noun. The above two sentences are correct because they are modifying a noun but I have a knife it's wrong because here is only adjective not a noun an article do not modify adjective now let's look at the example I found a dog yesterday now look here this is the first time that I mention a dog here and so for the reader it is not a specific dog it is the first time I mention a dog for the reader it is not a specific dog so we use the indefinite article a if we continue the story I am going to give the dog to Jane. Now, I have already mentioned the dog in the previous sentence. Now, it is a specific dog for the reader. You already know the dog. You know it exists. So, we use the definite article the. Let's see the chart on the screen. We use a before a consonant sound and we use an before a vowel sound. In this lesson, you will learn the main uses of the indefinite articles a or an. So, first of all, which one we use a or an? Well, the rule is we use a before a consonant sound. For example, a dog starts with a consonant sound. A boat and a cat. They all start with a consonant sound. But, very important, it is the consonant sound which is important. This is the sound dot the spelling so i am going to give you an example for example university this word it begins with a vowel letter but in fact it is the consonant sound the letter u is vowel letter but let's look at the pronunciation like university it is a consonant sound. So, we use a 
as an indefinite article. We say a university treated as a consonant. We use am before a vowel sound. For example, an apple starts with the vowel sound. An orange again vowel sound and finally an umbrella and again we have the same rule the sound which is important it is the vowel sound which is important not the spelling for example this word began with the consonant sound but in fact it is a vowel sound over it is a consonant letter but the pronunciation is our as is silent. Therefore, we use the word an our. So, here is the summary of the rule a before a consonant sound and an before a vowel sound. Let's look at this rule a little bit in more detail. Yesterday, Mark watch dash film. So, what do we put here? Let's look at the pronunciation of phlegm. It is a consonant sound. Therefore, we say a phlegm. Yesterday, Mark watched a phlegm. However, yesterday, Mark watched an excellent phlegm. So, we use the same noun here, but we use adjective before the noun. Excellent. So, what we do now? The rule is we look at the word after the article. We don't look at the pronunciation. We look at the pronunciation. Excellent. And excellent start with, with the vowel sound. So we say, Mark, watch an excellent film. Now let's see the example number two. I am eating. So what is the pronunciation of an apple? It starts with a vowel sound. So we say, an apple. Now, let's add the adjective green apple. So, the word after the article starts with a consonant sound green. So, it's a consonant sound. So, we say a green apple. Let's see the conclusion. The choice of a or an depends on the sound. Okay, now let's see the grammatical use of a or an. We only use a or an before the single countable noun. I bought a shirt. So it's correct because shirt is a countable noun and it is in singular form. Number second example is Jane is eating an orange. It's correct because we use an before a vowel sound. However, we do not use a or an before a plural countable noun. I bought a shirt. It's wrong because a shirt is a countable noun in plural, so instead we use some. I bought some shirts. It's correct. Also, we do not use a or an before an uncountable noun. Example Mark is eating a soup. It's wrong. Soup is uncountable. We use the word some. Over here, Mark is eating some soup. Okay, now here, let's see the first uses of a and an. The first use is to refer to a non-specific thing or a person. Means noun. I bought a shirt. It is the usually because it is the first time we mention it. Perhaps it is not even important which specific thing or person we are talking about. If you see the example, I bought a shirt today. Which specific shirt is not important? And it is also the first time we mention it. But if we continue to discuss the shirt, then we use the shirt because now this is specific. Now 
If you see the second part of the sentence, the shirt was expensive, but I really like it. It is the same noun, but we change the indefinite article. Now let's see the other example. He is eating an apple. It is very important to specify which apple he is eating. Now if you see the other example, here is a cushion. Can you lend me a pencil please? Or give me a pencil? Here we are not asking for a specific pencil. It is not important for us which pencil you give us. We just want a pencil. We need to write something. Another use of a and an is to talk about any one member of a large group. David is the director of Microsoft. So what is this mean by? It means that Microsoft, the company has several directors and Mark is one of those directors. So he is one member of a large group. Means Microsoft has several directors and Mark is one of those. Rahil is a student at Cambridge University. Again, it means there are several students at Cambridge University and Mark is one of those students. Here is the third use of a and n to describe pupil's job. So here is Nala is a teacher. So here we use indefinite article to describe jobs. If I say Nala is an English teacher, we use N over here because English began with a vowel sound. Next example is Jane is an accountant. I want to be a soldier. So Every time we refer to a person's job, we use the indefinite article a or an. Now let's see the fourth use of a and an. Certain phrases of frequency. I travel to London four times a week. This means that I regularly go to London and during a week I go four times. Did you notice we use article before a time period? Now our next example is He brushes his teeth three times a day. Three times a day is indefinite article. Now let's see the fifth use of a or an. That is exclamation. So an exclamation is when we are showing some surprise or emotion. For example, what a beautiful dog. So, we use the indefinite article after the word and before the noun. Next is what a surprise. Indefinite article is very important. We use a with only with the singular countable noun. Surprise is countable noun. Dog, it is singular, is an countable noun. If the noun is uncountable, there is no article. Example, Mark won the lottery. What a luck! Luck is an English, which is uncountable. Now, let's see the exercise number one. Complete the sentence with the correct word, a or an. Example, yesterday I saw an elephant. Because elephant began with the vowel sound, we use an. Here we have example number one. Yesterday, I saw a baby elephant because baby begins with the consonant sound so we put a 
Number second, tonight I am going to watch a European film. This is one of those difficult situation. The word begin with the vowel, but in fact, when it pronounce, it's a consonant sound. European. Let's see the example number three. Ma Volk like to buy a car. Here again, a consonant sound. Mark will like to buy an expensive car. This time, before the word car, we have adjective. An adjective have a vowel sound. Now, look at the exercise number two. Which of these sentences is correct? David would like to be the singer. It's wrong. David will like to be singer. It's wrong. David will like to be a singer. It's correct. Did you see? In all these four sentences, only one is correct. That is, David will like to be a singer. So, it's a person job. We use the indefinite article because it starts with the consonant sound. Let's see one more question example. What a terrible advice. It's wrong. What terrible advice. It's correct. What an terrible advice. It's wrong. Because the word advice is uncountable in English. That is why we don't put the article here. I hope this lesson of article is clear to you.